Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another 30 minute demonstration with uh, Janome Sewing Machine. My name is Céline Ross, and I am an educator for Janome Canada. So, as you can see, I record this video for you. I didn't want you to miss me while I was in Europe. So, I'll have a few live in Europe, uh, from Europe, on, on the French area, uh, on the French uh, Genome uh, website. But um, for you, I record this because I said if they, have, if they have a few weeks without any homework, well, they'll miss it. Huh? So, you know, this is really popular. This is one of the... Um, Utility stitch that is built in into most of the Genome electronic machine. It is a mending stitch, repair stitch when you have a little hole, but it has to be little, okay? But also it could be um, decorative. So this is what I want to show you today, how to play with it. So of course, before I'm showing this to you, you know, this is my test. This is my garment that I'm working on. And I'm playing with the thread. So I'll put this away, oh, just on the side here. And if we go to the machine, this is a bit too close. Now I'm looking for my uh, stylus. Uh, okay. It's somewhere. No, it's here. It's me. It's me. I'm not. Okay. So I'll hide the mess in behind. Okay. So where is this stitch? You see that buttonhole section or category? You want to see everything in the category of buttonholes. So you have all your buttonholes up to here. Okay, maybe you say, oh, the old keyhole, yes, of course, but the end is different. It depends of the, uh, if it's a for a man, a woman, a jacket, uh, a coat, a winter, a tick, a tin, uh, whatever, okay? So these are your buttonholes. This is to sew a button. And here is the stitch that I'm working with. This is the stitch here. It's a mending or repair stitch. So you know that the machine is a nine millimeter. So what is this doing? This is going, the, the needle is moving 20 times to fill up the foot, inside of the foot area. Of course, it's utilitary stitch. I, you see, I put my machine in English for you. So it's utilitary, but it could also be decorative stitch. So. When you ask your, your, your stitch, then you have the window that appears you here. So this is the balance stitch. This is the tension stitch and the height of the uh, pivot function or height of the foot. Everything is electronic, okay? It, it's pre preset. You see, they say darning. I said repair, but it's darning, okay? And, well, this is... Or to create the balance stitch here, or to create, or to really balance if you want it even. The best way to learn about this is to um, is to, to try it. Huh? And when when you're happy, when you like what you're doing, but not in this case here. In this case here, we're testing and I'm playing with it. But if it's to, if you like w specific one, if you like a specific one, well, you can save it into your favorite stitch and it'll be set forever. But for, forever, not if you remove it, uh, it'll be, um, uh, it, it, if you uh, it, it, delete it, it'll be gone, of course. Okay, I don't need this. So let me, let me explain what I did here. Okay. So I know this is tone on tone. You see, I like, oh, what is this on this? Uh, oh, this is with the um, AccuStitch regulator. You see, I like to present my samples inside, like I called a frame, okay? 
And I decide to decorate the frame. You know, I don't want to look like a Christmas tree, so I did tone on tone, red on red, I, I know. But you see, you can see well if I enlarge here. So you see, I play with different um, different part of the um, of the, uh, the that buttonhole section here. Okay, and then I took a piece of fabric, you know, regular piece of fabric. I'll remove everything from, and then I said, okay. Let's start, I'll see what it is. You know, I make my mark. I like to use the block marker from um, the Sewing Revolution Girls. I really like their block marker. So I mark everything, as you can see. I, I'll, okay, I mark everything to make sure that I'm going to play with it. So I did some of the, um, uh, of, uh, some of the um, testing here. And I save this when I do a demo, and this will be for the next class on this side. Um, so I like to practice before I go to my, my garment, okay? So what did I do here? I use red thread, you know, N no, no change, the same thread to see, to see what the stitch is all about, what I can manipulate. So you see, when you ask your, th your your stitch, the balance wheel is at five. So I tried them all and I write them down, okay? I, I write or I wrote them down. Five, one, two, three. This is as soon as I ask. You see, I'm coming here. As soon as I ask, it's five. Five. Then I said one, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I'll have to redo them. Huh? And I did with it. So I, I want to see my angles. How is it going? You see? How is it doing? But here it's a cotton with batting, a polyester batting. I want it stiff because I don't want to add, while I'm doing my samples, I don't want to add some stabilizer. So this is, this I like this stick texture because I can concentrate of my samples. So did this I did with um, uh, rayon thread. Then variegated rayon thread. And then cotton rayon thread. I want to see how it looks like. Which one do I prefer? Or, or just to try things. I like variegated, but also you can use um, a polyester thread, a twisted thread, metallic thread, uh, tin thread, thick thread, you know, whatever. You, you, you have to test. Everybody should have um, a piece like this. You know, uh, I, I tried it. I tried before. What do you try here? It's almost nothing. So get a good piece and get ready to try many things and you save them. Okay. So for what, for the, the, for the denim shirt, which is 100% cotton, but uh, nice and soft. Okay. So I try, I said, no, I do prefer the matte finish, which is 100% cotton. Okay, this is what I use here. I want to make sure. Yeah, this is what I use here. Okay, and then I did a few. I start to decorate my shirt. And this is something that, you know, it takes really time, huh? a, a, a long time. I, I, want to, um, I want to make variation. You know, I'm going to wear this blouse because it's, uh, I like the, I like it. And I want the matte finish. And you see, I change the angles, the length. I, I play with it. You see how small this is? Okay. So I'm going to show you how I did this. And I will not show you on that piece. I'll show you directly on the shirt because I prepared it. And I don't want you to be afraid to decorate. You know, if you embellish or personalize a piece of garment, well, most of the job is done. Huh? Decorating, it's not sewing, adjusting, and finishing. It's 
you use whatever you have in your wardrobe and then you go. So here I did not need any stabilizer because of the thickness of my fabric or sample. Okay, I'll remove this. But here I use tear away. Let me show you the back of my shirt. You see, still a little piece of tear away. You see, tear away. If you don't use a stabilizer, it'll um, shrink like this. Huh? You don't want that. I previously starched it. The result wasn't great. I do prefer tear away. Okay. And then if I come to the sewing machine, then, whoops, I move it too much. So I have to attach the um, R foot, which is the button the whole foot. But there's no need that, that little, um, there, there's no need of this buttonhole uh, uh, sensor. So I slide everything underneath, okay? And I previously put some uh, tear weight underneath my shirt. I did the top before to show you. And then I'm going to make a few... Uh, a few things here so here I need it flat and strong and I like to mm, yeah I want to show you something else so my machine is thread but there's something is happening and I want to show you okay I'll re I'll lift this here do you see the twisted thread here if I put a little piece of tear away, you see the twisted thread? So when this happened, I'm gonna end up with a problem. So I unthread my machine. Well, okay. And this is because of the memory of the, uh, of the, uh, of the, the thread. Huh? But Janome thought about that. So, whoops, it's, oh la la, it's, oh, 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 I did the big bobo here. See when you go too fast, huh? Sewing is a, uh, is a, uh, uh, uh. okay, because of the twisted thread. So, well, okay. Make sure that I, okay. It's twisted because of the memory of the thread, like I said. Okay, and this caused thread breaking. So how I do this, a little bit higher. Okay, this is my thread holder. So insert, then from the back to the front, inside and around. And because of that twist, the machine will not, uh, will undo the thread, you see? Hmm, you better do what I say, you. I'm talking to the thread. Oh, okay, like this. Okay, and then I keep threading my machine. Okay, lock the machine. Thread holder. Uh, no. Needle threader, I should say, not thread holder. Okay, and unlock. And I need... I want this inside my foot. So what do I do? One stitch down, one stitch up, and I pull to the side, and it's there, and in my thread holder, okay? So I didn't need to push and try to catch it underneath. And then, move the camera again, okay? And, oh, I want you to see at the same time, I want you to see what I'm going to do here. Okay, so let's see. And you know, you can mark an X where you want them, but I'm just going, you know, nothing is bad. And see, my tear away underneath. And it's a piece that, uh, it's not a new piece. Huh? I always save all my pieces, you see? I attach them together. I attach them, it's, it's all, you know, you save, you save here to spend over there. 
But also you be careful, you know, we pay our machine very expensive, a lot of money. So uh, I, I don't want to put in the garbage for, for no reason. Okay, so I didn't, I just ask my stitch. I don't bother with nothing else. I'll let it go. Okay, so the machine, am I high speed? Because nothing is gonna move. So you see, my machine is moving. My needle is moving as it's, as it's sewing 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, 20 times in nine millimeter and 16 times in uh, seven millimeter. Put up and I move somewhere else. Did you notice that I didn't ask for a thread cutter? Okay, and now I don't want any Okay, the machine asked me, you want the same thing? <coughs> Sorry. So then I'm gonna say, oh, this time, you know, we'll exaggerate one. I'll ask one, look. And I'm moving up and down and, and every fabric has a different reaction. Whoops, I should clip my thread here. I don't use it as a, uh, with the thread cutter because sometimes it's too short and I have to re-thread. So you'll see what I'm gonna do, okay? So the machine is doing his, his job. Full size for now. Okay, lock stitch, lift, move somewhere else. Okay, but this time on the screen, I'm gonna do nine because the balance is from one to nine, just for you to understand. Okay, let it go. I'll clip my thread in between. So here it was five, here was one, and now I just did nine. Look at the difference. Okay. Okay. As soon as I program, this is what I end up. You see, it's not exactly straight. And I am on tearaway. And you see, whoops, you see one and nine on the other side and full length. Now you say, I don't want this full length all the time because you have the ability to, uh, to change the size. How I'm doing this? Start, but I keep my finger close to, oops, close to my reverse, okay? So here. Okay, I have enough. I asked my machine, don't make it longer than this. You cannot adjust the width, but you can adjust the, the, the length. And the machine asks you, do you want to do the same thing or different? If I want to do the same length and everything, just lift your foot and move somewhere else. Uh -uh. See, everything will be the same because it keeps in memory the last adjustment. Okay, foot up, and then I'm, I keep moving my stuff. And I like to keep my thread. I don't mind to cut them after because, no, I don't want the same thing. So uh, I like to keep them because uh, I was at five. I'm, I'm going to try seven this time because I have a real good tension. See, because my tearway is underneath. And I don't even have to hold the fabric. Whoops. I don't even have to hold the fabric because, you know, underneath the foot, you have two um, rubber, uh, it's uh, rubber underneath and it holds my fabric into place. Foot up and then I'm moving somewhere else. I want to do the same thing, I just start. I want to do different, I say no. And you just go like this. Maybe you want to, uh, to uh, ask 
a different spot. You have to prepare a different spot. No problem at all, eh? Okay. See, I'm full speed and I'm even, I don't even hold it. So different size. This time I'm going to go to two, just for fun. Okay. Up here. And I'm going to change the size. Okay. Let's see. That's enough. So you can make it tiny. The tiniest is three stitch. Three stitch. You have to go slow to find out. Okay. So if I did two, I'm going to do on the opposite. I'm going to do nine, seven. Okay. Up and go. And after, you know, the machine locks, this, the machine locks the thread at the beginning eh? and at the end. So even if you clip your thread, I prefer this than always starting at the, um, uh, with a cutting thread and cut all the way, uh, and cut my little thing behind. Okay, foot up and I'm coming. Let's see here. I'll repeat the same thing. And you keep going. See how easy it is? It is long to do, not hard to do. Okay. And I'll stop and I'll cut my thread. Cut my thread. Foot up and... I'm going to remove them here on, on the right side of the fabric. And my beginning and my end is very clean. Then if I go on the wrong side of the fabric, uh, yes, I see all my thread, but I'd rather have, whoa, this is not the thread. I'd rather have to clip my thread than using the thread cutter and have those little tails that I have to clean after. You know, it'll tickle you. <laughs> yeah? All those little short tail of thread at the back. And then you just have to remove your uh, tear away. And you be careful when you remove your tear away. Yeah? You be careful. You hold your, you hold your piece of... Uh... See? Whoops. This, oh, I don't, well, I don't cut the nut, you know, the lock stitch. See how clean it is? And you have to iron after. See, this one is a longer one. Okay, hold my thread. Hold the, the design. Pull, tear with says, and tear. See how clean it is? And I just did those two, so, see? And you iron your stuff and you iron your shirt after and it'll be flat like on the top here, okay? So this is my mending stitch. But there's something else here. Aha, it's a bar tack, okay? So, I'll, I'll use my practice piece of fabric. Same thing, you see? See how you can change the stitch length and the stitch width and the... Okay, so I'm going to just reset two. So, let's make it... Um, whoops. Okay, so again, I'll show you something. Okay, so I have my thread. I don't lower my foot. Needle down, needle up, pull and pull the fabric and then thread holder, okay? And then as is. And I want you to take a look on my thread stand. You see? You see how nice my thread is? So if it curls here, this will uncurl it. I hope I have the right word, un uncurl. When I have my luminous, I hope you see well. Okay, so without doing anything, oh, I'll start here, it's easy. Okay, 
You see well? Okay. So I'll just follow as is. So stitch length at two, stitch width at 1.5. Okay. Now, oh, you see here. Okay, good. So let's say I want to do at one. Oh, 1.5, one. Okay, and very narrow. You have a thin, thin fabric. Foot up, move. I cannot use my, um, my, um, what's the word? Oh. Pivot function. I cannot, it's not possible. So you see, one, 1.5, 1.5. You can vary, you know. Um, start. You can change just one or both of them, you know, just your stitch length or just your stitch width. 1.5, two we did, different. Let's see, three and two. Okay, up. So that it's all, you know where you find these? on your, um, at the end of the zippers, okay? Or the pockets, okay? Foot up, different size, four. 2.5 is the, the, the length is the highest length. And you see, I can go full speed because there's no problem. Okay, now five is the top and 2.5 is the longest stitch length. So it's going to be wide, but when I say wide, you know, if you do, uh, if you repair your, um, a big bag, you know, a carry-on bag, and then I want to do something else. Okay, at one because I said we can change the length or the width. So you'll see the difference here. There's no end to any, everything. So, okay, and I wanna do this and this, okay. And I'll pull aside and Oops, I went too high. Because the stitch is making, is doing um, like the buttonholes, it's going back. Okay, I'll do it again here. Just to show you that I'll keep it in memory. It will be keep, kept in memory. So the width, the length, whatever. Oof. And you can combine in your, uh, in your, shirt or wherever your decoration um here here and here there's no end to the lift and you see also you can change thread you test everything okay let's say it's enough okay and now I'm clipping. I like to work with um, my tweezers. Whoops, you see my fingers. So I like to keep, to play with my, not to play, but my tweezers. I don't have long nails. So see, clipping in between. And you have, you have no pulling, you know, it's, it's the, the work is, is perfect this way. But if you do prefer, you can activate your um, your thread cutter. Okay, almost done. But the job will be like perfect. Yes, it's done. So, whoops. Okay, good. So you see. So this one is a mending or uh, what was it? darning, okay? And this is the bar tack. Look all the difference, all the different size and width and length. 
that you can use. So that could, you could mix those two together to, for, on a garment. Okay. So I'm already 30 minutes long. Oh, it's going so fast. So uh, from, from Montreal, because when you'll see it, I'll be in France. But wherever I am, I wish you good sewing. Bye-bye, everybody.